found my first digital camera that I ever had, the Ixus 60. And I had totally forgotten about this camera or the fact that I had modified it to take infrared pictures, which I found out when I took out the memory card and the memory card contained infrared pictures. I thought about maybe I should go out and try this again. But then I realized that even though this camera still has its battery, I don't have the charger for it. So I guess I'll have to make another charger since I'm not going to be making a new battery grip for this one, at least for now. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to measure the size of the battery so that we can make a battery bay that can accept this. Now we'll go ahead and copy the dimensions of the battery to the paper. Now that the printing is done, we have our pieces. We still need to do some tapping. Even though I had screw threads 3D printed, and you can use those that are in the model, you will have some resistance putting in the screws the first time, so be careful with that. But since I tapped them myself, uh, they will go in nicely. After that, we have two LEDs that will fit like so. And once they've been fitted, they will come out like so. Then we have the connector for the battery. And we have the battery itself. And to power all of this, we have a USB-C charging circuit that will just slap in there and wire to all of the other parts. The charging circuit has two LEDs already. We're going to have to remove those so that we can use the ones that we selected here. Let's get to the wiring. So here we have our charging circuit. And you would say that, okay, so how are we supposed to know how to connect the LEDs because they don't have any markings? As we can see, there are no plus or minus markings around the LEDs. However, there is thankfully a very easy way to tell which way the LEDs are. And it's the same for the bigger LEDs, like these, as it is for the smaller LEDs. This big side that you can see here, that's the ground. And the small side that you can see here, that's the plus side, the positive side. So if we then go ahead and zoom in to the small LEDs. We can see that they have both a big side and a small side. And based on that, we can tell that this side, this here and this here, are both positive. And the outer sides for both are the ground. 
So based on that, we can then wire our new LEDs in. Now that the LEDs have been successfully removed, we'll then move to the next part, which is that we need to attach some wires so that we can then attach those wires to the LEDs that are in the charging chassis. Well, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't mess something up. Uh, turns out that if you put the charger back into the box with the wires that I originally wired them, yeah, they're going in the wrong direction, so I had to change them. Also, I forgot that, yeah, you should probably also put the battery charging wires, so we're going to do that now. Okay, it seems that we are mostly done. Here is the wiring. I botched up the gluing of this part and I had to do it again, but now it's fixed. Let's see if this thing works before we attach the bottom part. Hmm. If it's pressed down, it doesn't work. If it's almost down, it seems to work. Interesting. Well, it works well enough for me. Now we'll just go ahead and put the screws on the bottom. And there we go, it's done. Now we have a slightly janky charger, but at least I can charge the battery for the camera that I have. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.